Welcome friends. Now let me talk about how we can pass a message from one activity to another activity uh, by using intent. So it's very simple my friend what exactly you need to do here. As you can see in the last example we are calling, we are uh, navigating from main, uh, well, uh, yeah, main activity to welcome activity. Now let me pass the values, let me pass a message that uh, uh, we can display in welcome activity here. So let me try to display the username. Let's say the welcome with the username and your password is whatever the password that you go uh, that is uh, authorized that is eligible. So here it's so simple, my friends. Uh, it's very simple uh, since we have an object of intent. Just what you need to do, you need to use one of the method, one of the widely used method in intent that is the intent dot put extra. So here you can see out here uh, intended put extra can carry any type of primitive value plus the parsable value. So how to work with the parsable I will explain it uh, soon okay not an issue. So here uh, what you can do out here here you here I'm going to use uh, a key that uh, is used to retrieve this value uh, when um, uh, when uh, when we move to when we navigate to the welcome activity. Let's say the key is n okay the key is u let's say and it, it it is always going to be string and the value may be anything it may be boolean parsable char or whatever so here the value is user okay and the second one come here intent dot put extra that is let's say the key is p for password and here i'm going to use out here let's say the pass here and how you can retrieve this value here so it's very simple to retrieve this value. Whenever you fire an intent, whenever you navigate from one activity to another activity, you can collect that value here in the welcome activity means whatever the next activity, you can handle that intent. You can uh, get the same object of an intent over here by calling a method name get intent dot. Okay. Yeah, get intent. You can call a method name get intent it's so simple my friend so here i will create an object of intent once again here intent let's say i for an intent and here you can use get intent so definitely this is very common sense thing this activity is going to invoke the reason behind the invocation of this activity is because of the main activity so we are passing an intent so this intent is coming with some values some message so that's why here in welcome activity you can collect that intent by using get intent and you can retrieve this value for example i want to retrieve a value of this key and this key uh, that is the u and p and these both are string you can also set uh, you, you can also pass uh, other uh, primitive data type uh, as well as the possible value so it's so simple my friend what you can do out here to retrieve this value you can simply call the getter method let's get string extra because we are the key is coming with a string so here you can use key is u for the username all right and I dot get string extra the P for a password like this and you can initialize this value in a string let's say user because these are strings and the second one is string pass for the password so it's so simple my friend as you can see and now I can uh, create a single string let's say welcome message msg and here uh, one second I will type here welcome and I will concatenate this particular user okay although to display password is not a good thing but still it's a, just a, it's just an example so your pass is means your password is like you can say a pass and what you can do you can just uh, uh, set this particular uh, uh, string variable this uh, particular value to the text view and here you can see in the welcome we are having this welcome and its id is a text view so what i can do i can just copy this id okay i need this id later on so i will declare a private text view it's a text view my friend remember so always use this uh, particular way okay text view the reason behind it because all these component classes come with the package and we need to import it so always use this uh, drop down list and then select okay so here we can use a text view and let's say welcome here and let me create an object of this text view here text view welcome that is the fine view by id r dot id dot i will paste it okay so simple 
and let me use the setter method text view welcome dot set text here that is the welcome message that's all you need to do my friend and now you can run this uh, appli uh, application not only you can uh, pass the strings you can also uh, pass uh, you can also put uh, you can say the put okay uh, uh, other primitive data, uh, primitive data types as well as the uh, what you can say as well as uh, uh, the parsable value okay uh, in the next example i'm going to show you what exactly the difference between the implicit intent and explicit intent so let me run it okay so this is an output and let me type once again the same username and password that is uh, and of academia and the password is one two three four five and six and now see the output that's great and you will have this is this is how you can pass a message so thanks for watching this tutorial and i will be back in the next tutorial we will talk about implicit and explicit intent thanks